Hi guys, I'm giving away a Vivo V9 Pro. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. So we are driving the Ford EcoSport on the racetrack. And uh, first and foremost, let me tell you something that I'm quite excited to drive an EcoSport on the racetrack. It's a very dynamically able and rich car in terms of performance on the road. Obviously, it becomes softer in terms of suspension setup with the facelift. And uh, the facelift is the most polished version. Now, I actually have an EcoSport at home, which happens to be the diesel, the original one, which was launched in 2013 and uh, it's very stiff it gets the better console i feel this one looks too bland it's wide it's nice it has tire pressure monitoring which is saying zero pressure in the rightmost tire well i don't really care about that turning off the air conditioning we are in second gear we're going to power out of the pit lane in second gear itself and let's see how this vehicle performs so here we go and it's telling me to upshift but here we go now the engine is really very punchy 100 horsepower and <laughs> it feels a little labored in the top end let's go through this corner with little enthusiasm it feels very tight and nice a uh, little bit softness has come in the picture now but the motor revs really fast this 1.5 liter motor is a real charm i would say produces 100 horsepower and i think around 250 newton meters of torque or whereabouts you can see brakes offer really good stopping power wide line over here and uh, through this chicane on to the throttle come on little bit tire noise let's see what top speed we can hit now red li red lining all the way to 5000 rpm we are in third gear, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes around 12 seconds. There's nothing in the top end. There's no point waiting all the way in the top end for things to wake up and move. Vehicle near top speed is what it's answering. Okay, so it is limited to 140 kilometers per hour. My key vehicle top speed. Very nice, very nice, very nice. That is a big chop over here, which means that otherwise it would have done at least 180 kilometers per hour. But right now I'm floored and it's not moving at all because of the my vehicle top speed. If I knew this, I would have not jumped into this car. So guys, I'm so sorry for this. Come on gearbox. I know you're not the slickest around but let's see how does it corner and it does a decent job i mean there is roll but somehow it does offer good amount of feel and feedback so here we are into third gear and as i push it on hard and fast let me tell you it does impress dramatically because this car feels light it's a monocoque car now obviously i'm jumping from the xcv to this vehicle so i'll obviously feel the lightness here we are through this corner and let's hit the chicanes over here it feels so eager and predictable around the bends which is a nice thing as such and you can actually pull it around third gear itself that's how good the motor is in fact this engine is really a gem in this vehicle through this chicane as well ride quality is good earlier it was on the stiffer side now it's fine brakes offer good stopping power but there is nose dive under heavy braking more so now because of the softer suspension setup so let's take a wider line and cut it in because this is a long sweeping corner it goes on and on and on so here we go from here we flip it right and yeah through the chicane to the ones ahead as well and great job Faisal great job so it's making noise vehicle near top speed braking hard okay there is the roll and there is the shimmy at high speeds but otherwise it's a decent car to drive not on the track though the EcoSport S would have been so much better so guys uh, this is my track experience of the Ford EcoSport and let me tell you it's a great car I absolutely love the EcoSport in fact we've got one recently it happens to be the EcoSport S same diesel engine performs quite well as well so we're going to dive into the pit lane and if you like this video you know what you have to do give it the thumbs up that's a like button also subscribe to the channel I will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye